Right now, a nationwide strike looms as auto workers across the country await negotiations from three major automakers. Members of the United Auto Workers Union are threatening to go on strike this week if their demands aren't met. Today, GM workers at the Wentzville plant rallied ahead of the deadline that's just four days away. Thank you for being here. I'm Brent Solomon. Mike Bush has the night off. Our Diamond Palmer went out to St. Charles County for this afternoon's rally. We're going to check in with her now. Diamond, what are they demanding exactly? Well, Brent, UAW workers are demanding better pay and benefits. Currently, workers are only eligible for a 6% raise, and there's no pension and retirement plan for when people stop working. People rallying today tell me more than anything, Jake, they just want a sustainable workplace environment created. No contract, no, no peace. peace. No, no contract, no peace. peace. Better pay, benefits, and working conditions. That's what United Auto Workers are demanding, or else a strike will happen Thursday. To have three companies make a quarter of a billion dollars in the last 10 years and act like they can't afford anything, it's, it's ridiculous. UAW Local 2250 in Wentzville held a rally Sunday to let people know they're serious. The labor union is negotiating with three companies, including Ford, General Motors, and Chrysler, who owns Stellantis. The latest movement was on Thursday when GM made a counterproposal with a 10% wage hike. Darren Gilly, a member of Local 2250, says COVID-19 exacerbated working conditions. It's 90 degrees in there with a mask on. Sweating, if you had to replace your mask halfway through, those are the kind of sacrifices that the white collar people, bless their hearts, didn't have to make. Rosemary White is one of the dozens who were at Saturday's rally. She says coming together like this sets a tone for business leaders and community members. Just support, just people coming to say, okay, we understand, we're behind you. The last time UAW workers had a strike was in 2019 for 40 days. Gilly says they're not afraid to do it again, especially when it comes to demanding better pay. They've eliminated retiree health care. They've made an eight year wage progression. So you spend a third of your career at substandard wages. That is an unsustainable situation. United Auto Workers President Sean Fain called GM's offer insulting. Now, if there is no contract agreement met before Thursday, UAW workers will strike at 11.59 p.m. Workers will not get their usual pay, but instead they'll receive strike pay. If the strike happens, economists predict that dwindling car inventory could increase the price of cars at dealerships. All right, Diamond, keep us posted. As the area GM plant rallies in anticipation of a strike, some Stellantis auto workers are facing negotiations. The automaker is offering workers a wage increase of 14.5% over four years. Stellantis is the manufacturer of Chrysler, Dodge, Fiat, and Jeep. This offer is the highest offer of any of the automakers thus far, but it's still a fraction of what the union is asking. Additional proposals are expected throughout the week.